This is my two-wheel drive twin I-beam Ford Bronco RC pre-runner. I take a stock Axial SCX-10 II and convert it to a functional long travel brushless pre-runner installing the new Proline twin I-beam kit, my new trailing arm conversion kit, sway bars, and a whole bunch of kit bashing to new parts. Let's jump right into the details. And starting up front, this is the new Proline twin I-beam suspension kit for the SCX-10 and SCX-10 II. This is based on a Ford style twin I-beam equal length with radius arms and is designed to run a 90 through 95 millimeter stock length crawler shock. Short course or buggy shocks are a great place to start looking when kit bashing these RC pre-runners. Their design is a big bore shock for jumping and have a wide range of adjustable springs for tuning. The front shocks I'm testing are associated SC front 12 millimeter big bore off of a Pro SC10 running 25 weight oil with green 3.75 pound associated springs. With the current setup, if you run a longer length shock, it will increase down travel but also decrease up travel. Acting as the unsprung bypass, this is a 90 millimeter RC four wheel drive king shock with 10 weight oil. And connected to the swing steer set is an EcoPower WP115T low profile servo and I'm using an SSD scale motor to hide it. Holding that servo is a hot racing aluminum servo mount that I modified removing the red washers and replacing those with king blue countersunk washers. One of the things you don't hear a lot of people talking about with this Proline twin I-beam kit is the Ackerman steering. Ackerman steering geometry is a geometric arrangement of linkages in the steering of a vehicle designed to solve the problem of wheels needing to turn at different radiuses. With a proper Ackerman setup, when you turn the vehicle, the inside tire is going to be at a tighter radius than the outside tire at full lock, providing better stability and cornering. Up front, I kit bashed this Axial 1955 Ford F100 pre-runner bumper, and I'm amazed at how it all worked out fitting this Bronco body with zero modification. This F100 bumper has a step down from the frame rail to accommodate the tall nose of the F100. The Bronco body has a similar tall nose and without this drop down pre-runner bumper I would have had to cut the front of the body to fit another type of bumper and that worked out really cool. For the motor and ESC I looked at a high KV waterproof setup and found this Castle Creation Sidewinder 4 combo with a 5700 KV motor with a 17 tooth pinion and I'll be running on 3S. Coming off the trans is a Team Odd 6 Racing Hero V2 drive shaft made it to a Team Odd 6 Racing Hypoid Ring and Pinion 24 tooth in the new Axial AR44 one-piece axle. This is the Axial SCX10, SCX102 trailing arm conversion kit that I designed based on the Element Enduro kit. I have a full video dedicated to these kits with the install and all the details coming very soon. This kit uses a Yeti length trailing arm and is designed to run a five inch shock in the integrated shock mount. I'm using a Proline PowerStroke XT five inch shock with 20 weight oil and the provided green springs. Attached to the Vanquish Yeti trailing arms is a Rock Jock V3 off-road sway bar designed for the Yeti using an element gatekeeper sway bar mount with some spacers to accommodate for the width difference. Stock length upper links upgraded to steel to add a little weight to the rear axle and overall CG. And if you look at how weak these stock axial links are, you could just bend them by hand whereas these steel links are so strong that it provides a little bit of rigidity for the forelink. Part of the secret sauce of building functional RC pre-runners is getting close to a 60-40 rear weight bias. Without a good rear weight bias, these trucks will not want to float the nose over whoops or want to jump nose high and will overall handle poorly for the intended application. I designed this pre-runner battery relocation kit to get the battery as far over the rear axle as possible while still being adjustable for different packaging. It's designed to use an element enduro battery tray, long or short, and replaces the rear frame brace allowing for more up travel and adding a good chunk of weight to the rear end. These battery relocation kits can be used in either a rear mount or a mid mount just by flipping it around. Multiple mounting holes gives you the adjustability to tune for CG based on your build and different bodies or packaging. The battery relocation kit fits all first gen element enduro crawlers and all Axial SCX10 and SCX102 models. I'm using these kits on both of my Element pre-runners and on the black Toyota I'm using it as a mid mount with a short battery tray and on the white 4Runner I'm using it as a rear mount with a long battery tray as I am here in this Axial build. This is always a little controversial but part of the secret sauce in getting a two wheel drive truck to actually get traction is to add a little unsprung weight onto the rear axle. OG two wheel drive RC trucks use MOA or motor on axle setups as a way to counter the loss of traction from the lack of weight in the axle. A good example of this is the Kyosho Outlaw Ramp 
Rampage Pro uses a motor on axle to get better two-wheel drive traction. I'm using the same setup as the two-wheel drive Toyota Pre-Runner with two 46 gram Samix axle weights and a Samix brass diff cover. This is the stock rear axle Cherokee bumper that is cut and a little closer to the frame. Then I modified the Bronco body based on the body post and cut the rear tailgate to match the rear bumper height. These are some old school GRC inner fenders for the original Cherokee that I modified to fit the sway bar and rear shock package and it fit nicely under the Bronco body. Another little secret sauce trick is having a lightweight a wheel and tire package as possible. This is why I opt for plastic beadlocks over metal rims. Another trick you can do is by taping or sealing the vent holes on your rims and this is a cheap upgrade to simulate a stiffer foam and will handle much better than vented tires. On this rig, I'm using some Proline Class 1 BF Goodrich KM3s on some Element Ocho beadlock rims. This is a Kitbash TRX4 Bronco dashboard mounted to an Element Enduro short battery tray that is mounted to the shock towers and frame rails. A little more secret sauce is I'm running a steering gyro out of an associated Pro SE10 two-wheel drive short course truck. A cheap gyro will make driving these two-wheel drive trucks more enjoyable and when tuned properly, it should have a natural feel and make the experience a lot more fun. The body that I'm running is an RC for me 1979 Ford Bronco hard body that is based on the TRX4 mold. I'm running a full Proline 87 extended cab light kit and then up top is a Baja Ray tail light mounted as a desert style chase light. Overall this has been one of my favorite builds to date and with the new Proline beam kit mixed with my training arm conversion and battery kits there's never been a better time to build these pre-runners than right now. Can't wait to get this thing out and put it through its paces. Thank you guys for watching, support the channel and hit that like and subscribe so I can build more of these for you guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.